find musicians, play here to make Othello happy, and bid good morrow. Are these wind instruments? Aye, sir, they are. Thereby hangs a tale. Whereby hangs a tale? Master, here's money for you. The general likes your music so much that he does not want to hear it anymore. No. If you have any music that doesn't have any noise, you can play it. We don't have any of that. Then put your pipes in, the, in your bag and vanish into the air. Away! Fine. We out here. Dost thou hear, mine honest friend? No, I hear not your honest friend. I hear you. Here's some money. <laughs> if the gentlewoman, the general's wife, uh, comes around, tell her Cassio is waiting for her. If she hither, I shall seem to notify her. Do good, my friend. Happy time, Iago. I have not been a bed then. I have made bold, Iago, to send to your wife. My suit to her is that she will, she will to virtuous Desdemona procure me some access. I'll send her to thy presently, and I'll devise a means to draw the more out of the way so you guys can talk longer. I humbly thank you. I've never known a Florentine so honest and kind. Good Lieutenant, I am sorry for your displeasure, but all will sure be well. The general and his wife are talking of it, and she speaks for you stoutly. The more replies he you heard is of great fame in Cyprus, and great affinity, and that is a wholesome wisdom he might not but refuse you, but he protests he loves you, and needs no other suitor but his likings, to take the safest occasion by the front to bring you in again. Yet I beseech you. Now give me some brief discourse with Desdemona alone. Oh, will you come in? I will bestow you where you shall have time to speak your bosom freely. I am much bound to you. <laughs> 